We're here at the Amazon Remars event in Las Vegas and I have with me a very special guest on tech today. Ty Brady of Amazon Robotics is on the show. Ty, thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Great to be here. All right, Ty. We're going to get right to it. When All I right. said Amazon Robotics, that means that you are a tech geek. I love tech. So we have to understand what is it that you do at Amazon Robotics and now you've finished 10 years at Amazon Robotics as a company, right? So what has that journey been like? And what is your daily job? What does it entail? It's, first of all, it's an amazing daily job. I'm the chief technologist at Amazon Robotics and I get to help shape our long-term plans in robotics. I help shape a better customer and employee experience for deliveries of our goods from Amazon.com. And super cool, if we're gonna geek out, I get to work with robots every day. Ty, I think what you're doing at Amazon Robotics is interesting because of what you all do at Fulfillment Centers. Yeah. And there's a lot of technology that's used out there to sure. make things efficient. And clearly, your one-day deliveries, that, that plays a huge part for Amazon in that as well. But what I want to understand from you is, how has this changed through the course of the pandemic? I'm guessing that your job got a lot tougher and more interesting through the course of the pandemic. Well, my job is always interesting <laughs> and fun, so I really love that. Uh, uh, but the pandemic was you know, unprecedented times. Yeah. Right, and we could not have done what we did inside of Amazon without two key components. Our amazing employees that were out there in the front lines delivering every day, fulfilling the, our orders, in combination with our robotics that are making their jobs both easier and safer. Right, so the combination of those two allowed us to get through the pandemic and offer products to our customers that couldn't get products. Like in the, remember the early days of the pandemic, you weren't really going outside. And I'm really proud of the fact that we were both able to offer new jobs for people that were laid off from restaurants, et cetera. We can offer them new jobs, but also bring the goods to people that really needed goods, had a hard time uh, getting them. So I'm really proud of the work of our amazing team to do that. And I'm also proud of the robotics that helps enable our amazing team in order to get the job done. Absolutely, Ty. And you know, when we talk about automation, the world seems to be divided into two parts. A lot of people back home and a lot of academia and academicians also say that automation is going to make, well, the world a tougher place when it comes to jobs. A lot of people will lose jobs when we're talking about robots becoming a lot more ubiquitous and a lot more adoption in that space. And then the other side talks about how this can really augment uh, what already exists. Where does Ty Brady stand on either end of that I argument? I stand with their data. And our data shows that we've added more than 520,000 drive units to our fulfillment centers. And in that period, we've created more than a million new jobs, right? So the more robots, more jobs. Now, robotics has to be done right. It has to be done in a way that enables that human capability, that extends human reach. And this is where we focus on making our robotics easy, easier and safer uh, for our employees to use. And when done right, that else actually helps uh, create jobs. And that's what we've seen inside of Amazon. But it has to be done right. It's not a humans versus machine type of relationship, it, hardly. The way that we frame our relationship with machines is it's humans and machines working together yeah. to create a symphony of amazing work to be done. Right, so humans and machines working together in order to achieve the task that's ahead of you in a very natural way. Mm -hmm. Right, so our engineers, our scientists, and they are incredible. And I am blessed to be able to work with just some of the smartest people that I've ever worked with in my entire life. They've really have helped solve this really hard problem of how can we add to the tool set of our employees mm -hmm. and so that makes it easier and safer for them to do their job. So by that logic, this whole Armageddon scenario that's been painted by the media and by a lot of tech billionaires that. as well, I that's not going to happen. I don't see, well, Humans well, versus well, AI. Let's, 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 we can look at a hundred years of incredible inventions. In the past hundred years, we've had the rise of the internet, the rise of computers, really understanding physics, uh, aviation. And we see over a hundred years with incredible advancements that we continually add jobs. Again, if technology is done right, where it doesn't create friction, but it actually helps people uh, do their job. If technology is done right, that it makes it more safer for people to be doing their job, then that allows you to be more productive and gain more efficiencies. And when you do that, when you gain those efficiencies, um, we then earn the right to offer the world's largest selection of goods to our customer at a low cost. And getting the right good to the customer's door at a low cost is what we're all about. And we're gonna add automation to do that. Obviously, you know, we were talking about two of the flagship robots for Amazon Robotics, yeah. but now there are certain synergies at place at Amazon as well. Another robot that caught our eye from the Amazon stable was the Astro. Now we yeah. spent some time with Ken and the Astro as well. 
Were there a lot of synergies in terms of technology that were in place with your team and Ken's team as well for something like Astro? Yeah, we're super proud of Astro and its uh, robotics now going into the homes. To me, it's, it warms my heart. I love that. Uh, the robotics can help us with the convenience or the courtesy of doing tasks that we haven't done before right. to help uh, that owner do things in ways that we're probably not even imagining yet. In the early days of Astro, I personally got to work with the team and kind of shape some of the philosophy uh, that they had. They have an amazing team of roboticists uh, as well. I'm really focused on the, the commercial product where we're more focused on the industrial product right. of, of robotics. But uh, we've also shared learning. As a matter of fact, what they call the guidance system inside of Astro, we've actually shared that from with the Proteus vehicle that we announced on uh, stage today, they actually share the same technology when it comes to navigating around people or crowd people. We actually got to work to, together on that. And of course, we share technologies, whether it's battery technologies or sensing technologies, computing technology, the use of AWS. We share that amongst it. But they're an amazing team. They're out uh, in at Lab 126. Super proud of their work. It's a long journey. It's a hard journey. It's hard to make a, a product so simple, so natural, but I really love Astro. It was great. I, I had uh, Astro in my house for a number of months during the pandemic. Did you make Astro dance? <laughs> Astro would dance for sure. Astro can rap. We really enjoyed Astro. So there's a big focus when you talk about Amazon as a group now on, of course, robotics and now even yep. on the consumer side. Right. Very interesting things with Astro and how they're integrating Alexa into it. And then there's this huge talk about space and we've had a lot yeah. in Mars with yeah. space. Yeah. Is that some place as well where we could see a lot of you know, your team members playing a part from the robotic side, yeah. maybe with some sort of integrations it's, there? Let's just go even one level higher. So we're really proud of the work that we've done inside our fulfillment centers. Like extremely proud of that work, uh, making for a safer work environment, more productive and highly efficient uh, environment as well. And it's incredible. And we do technology development with project context. Right. We have the context of fulfillment in order to advance robotics, right. not only for fulfillment, but for the betterment of society as a whole. Right. So the lessons that we're learning on how to move around people, how to manipulate objects, how to identify objects, how to sort different objects, those are lessons in the early days of robotics. And we are in the very earliest stages of robotics today. Those are lessons that can be applied for the betterment of society. So you're seeing some of that like with Astro because right. if we can have robotics in the home, yes. If we can make life easier, let's do that. If it can be a companion for folks, wonderful, right? As long as the machine machinery and our robotics allows us to focus more on what matters, right. that's what's important. And it's on us to design those really amazing machines that are incredible staff, just incredible. You talk about some of the, the brightest, most brilliant minds that are out there, really motivated about shaping not only what is in robotics, but what can be, mm -hmm. right? And that's the legacy that I'm really excited about because if you were in aviation in the 1930s, how you designed that airplane in the 30s and the 40s really affected the future of aviation. Or if you're in the computing industry in the 1950s, how you thought about that operating system and how you design the system has effects today of how we actually still do computing. We're in those early barnstorming days uh, today and it's a super exciting space to be in. Really great. Super exciting space to be in. We're excited about it. Now this was a fascinating conversation, so I thank you for that, Ty. I hope the next time we meet, and if we do meet, my job isn't taken away by a robot. If that will not, that it, that's not the way that we view it. So <laughs> I will, there's one thing that I'm sure of. When, when we meet, we will still connect with one another. We hope that our coffee is served by a robot. <laughs> yeah. Thank good. you so much. Guys. My pleasure. Cheers. Thank Thanks. You. So if you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.